This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Jack Threads. You know what time it is, Shannon? It's time to check port 110. It's time to make fun of Darren because he's been drinking. No, I haven't. <laughs> this is, this is a uh, lemon tea. Mm-hmm, until somebody smells it. Okay, let's get to the emails, thank you. All right. Paul W. writes, Love the show, but I'm worried for you. In episode 1011, Darren had a sweet Yagi Ura 16 DBI antenna hooked up to his trusty 1000 milliwatt Realtek 8187 Wi-Fi adapter. This is a clear violation of FCC Part 15 regulations, which are 30 dBm plus 16 dBi equals 14 dBm EIRP, much greater than the 36 dBm EIRP limit. More frighteningly, this is significantly over the OET 65 bulletin limits for human safety. I'm not worried for Darren's safety, but please don't point this stuff at Paul the camera guy. We like him. We do? I like him too. Yeah? What is he talking hang about? On, hang on, let me actually see if I can focus this right at... There we go. See, this is what the sniper scope is for. I'm, I'm As gonna... it breaks the camera with apparently all sorts of radiation. No, no, see, okay, well, I'm not familiar with the OET 65 bulletin. I'm not, not a ham radio operator. I don't pretend to understand all of the fancy awesome stuff of the spectrum. I, I kind of like sit in the Wi-Fi world and I'm working my way towards there, don't get me wrong, I think it's fascinating, but... Um, well, I don't even understand quite what he's speaking on as far as the DBI EIRP limit stuff goes. Sure. So EIRP is the equivalent isotropically radiated power and it's basically a way to measure how much practical power is coming out of the device. It's usually rated in decibels and uh, it's just a way so that I can know like, you know, this antenna at 30 milliwatts is that. Oh, so that's that. 5 dBi. Well, this is, There's yeah, this a is a 5 dBi antenna. There's a larger one that can be 9 antenna. and this, this is one six. is 16? Yep. Okay. And, uh, and the difference here is this is just a dipole antenna. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of think of it as the, it all goes everywhere at once, right? It's omnidirectional. Uh -huh. And this one just goes one way. This only goes, well, yeah, it's, it, they all have different kind of cones, but yes, well, basically, course, yeah. it's, it's just pointed right into Paul's brain. And that's what we want, because Paul's brain might be a link to But now Paul's gonna get cancer. Um, I don't think so. But th th anyway, that's what this guy is. This guy, the, the, the actually it's called a Yagi Uda array. Uda. Uda. Oh yeah, because the the two guys, right? Yeah, the first. So it was invented in 1926 by a help Shin, me out here. Shintaro Uda. Right for the what Imperial University? Uh, Tohoku. And to a lesser role, his colleague helped him develop it. What was his name? And that's Hidetsugu Yagi. Except the Yagi name has been. It's, <laughs> yeah. I, it's easier to pronounce. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Well, Uda is easy too, but a lot of people would probably call it Yuda just because they wouldn't know the pronunciation, so. I don't speak yeah. Japanese. Yagi just, yeah, it sounds fun. I only speak English, German, and binary. Oh, well, I, I speak a little zero, bit. Zero, uh, one, what is it? One, zero, uh, how one, do I say it? Mother. Choto, choto hanashimasu, uh, uh, nihongo, watashi wa nihongo o choto hanashimasu. I speak a little Japanese. Oh, okay. Anyway, back on track. <laughs> <laughs> so what he's talking about here, though, is that uh, the way that this antenna works in amplifying the signal yeah. and also uh, or directing the signal at Paul, he, he, he's implying that I'm running my radio outside of U.S. spec and thus breaking the law. But I'm actually not. This guy is FCC Part 15, meaning it comprises right. all so the, those Right, so it's regulated and, in the U.S. Right, and here, let me show you just a bit. Let me close a couple of these and clear this. Okay, um, if I were to unplug my radio, plug mm -hmm. it back in, and you're gonna see that uh, my I now have WLAN 12 and I can bring up that interface. And I can w, uh, IW config WLAN 12. And you can see now that my TX power Mm -hmm. is 27 dBm. What that translates to is, as you guys know, 500 milliwatts, which is the legal limit in the United States. Okay. And one of the reasons why the uh, this particular 8187 is pretty popular is because, well, I mean, like a lot of radios, it can, depending on your operating system, go, let's say, go higher. out of spec. And oh. I'm not advocating this whatsoever, but for all of our Bolivian and, and listeners and uh, viewers in Belize, all you would have to do, for instance, would be IW, reg, set, and then your country code. So 
For oh. Bolivia, that's Bia, or for Belize, that would be BZ. So if I do that, and now that I've specified that my country is Belize, you can see right here it's actually changed my country code, and now it's saying that my radio is allowed not only different frequencies instead of in the U.S. using channels 1 through 11, I can use 1 through 14, mm -hmm. or 13, any, oh, yeah. whichever those are, and I can go all the way to 11, or that is, I can use one watt out of this radio. But you can't do that in the United States because the FCC prohibits it, Right. that's why I don't do that. Oh. Okay, so, so that's why we're not radiating Paul's brain. Okay, so we're still in the legal limits even though you can go you can. outside of it. Well, if, if you, you were, really wanted to. If you were in Bolivia or Belize, you could totally do this. Okay. Yeah, so just fly there and do it, you know? Yeah, just go over there and do it. Yeah. <laughs> But hey, thanks for sending that in because it really got me on a tangent learning about like EIRP yeah. and, and uh, a whole bunch of All fun radio gigs. stuff that I need to get more into because I love that stuff. It's totally, a ha it's just, it's like, it's, it's all hacking. Yeah. Really, it is. All right, cool. Well, stay tuned. That's it for the emails this week, but we'll be right back for this week's TechnoLess photo and the trivia after a quick break. If you love alternative apparel brands like Kid Robot, Hurley, and Stussy, but you hate wasting cash, get this. You could score these premium brands at up to 80% off every day at Jack Threads, the invite-only shopping club for guys. They're serving up street, skate, and surfwear brands at brain-melting prices. Best of all, Hack 5's hooking you up. That's right, skip the wait list and join free at jackthreads.com HAK5 to start saving instantly without having to leave the house. Time for my favorite part of the episode, the Technolos photo of the week. And speaking of photos, something really weird happened uh, the last, uh, uh, what was it, last weekend at my birthday party? I was hanging out with this chick, Jen, who's pretty much grown up here in California, and I'm from Missouri, but we both had pictures of our relatives, her cousin and my sister, both around 20, 21 years old, with their friends, and it was the same exact picture, just two different groups of girls, and they were all going like this. All of them. It was the weirdest thing. Like, their heads were all cocked the same way, and they all had their, their like, hips poked out the same way and like their legs in the same fashion as if they were models or something. All 20 years old or 21 years old, mm -hmm. completely different areas in the United States. Same age group. And are you, are you even their to... clothing was almost exactly the same. It was the weirdest thing ever. And I was like, Whoa. Are, are you trying to say that Valley Girls are like carbon copies? You know, I think so. <laughs> I, I honestly do. Three girls, each from the same area. All of them. It was the craziest thing. They could have been twins. Yeah. So weird. I don't know. So tune anyway. into the show notes at hack5.org to find their uh, Facebook and MySpace URLs. Of course. <laughs> MySpace, yeah. of course. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> it was the weirdest thing. Nothing to do with Hack 5, but I thought it was awesome. You know, I was just you know, like, you know how there's, You know how there's like on... Um, Twilight Zone. It's so... Like everything now has like red eye removal. Yeah. Why do we not have duck face removal? Tell oh me God. this, people. Oh, uh, that's another thing. My sister, all the time. Yeah. How about the Technolos photo of the week? Please. Oh, save sorry. Me. No, come I was on. too busy, like, in the, my own little no, world for my space. Make the thing happen. Okay, fine. This Technolos photo is from Kevin. He built this awesomely cute little robot, and it's holding a little Hack 5 sticker. Oh. It's so cute. He even sent in a little video. I don't know if we have time to play it, but if the video we can't, is cool. The video is cool. You guys check out the video. You can send in your own photos over to feedback at hack5.org. Or if you want to top that video, I'm just going to say, you know. Now, I'm top looking forward to the trivia because I think I know the answer to both of these. You think you do? I think I do. Okay. Last week's trivia question was, this framing element takes up 9.6 microseconds for 10 megabit, 960 nanoseconds for 100 megabits, 96 nanoseconds for, one, for a gigabit, and a mere 9.6 nanoseconds for 10 gigabit ethernet transmissions. What is it called? It's the interframe gap. Interframe gap is one of the answers, or you can call it an interframe spacing or an interpacket gap. I like to think of it as ethernet going, <gasps> Okay, here's another packet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sad. Yeah. All right, so this week's question is, what movie was based off of the Philip K. Dick novel that took place in the year 2019? Answer over at hack5.org slash trivia for a chance to win some swag. It wasn't the fifth element, was it? Yeah, anyway, let's find out. <laughs> Email 
or not email. I am not giving any kind of trivia. clues yeah. at all. All right, and also while you're there, remember to subscribe to all of us on social networks and all the other fun places. Hack5.org slash follow is where you can find all the fun places to get technos all yep. delivered to you. And that is also where you can find the RSS feeds, YouTube, and download links for the show itself. You can also get all your favorite Hack5 goodies over at hakshop.com, like our Wi-Fi pineapple version three and Ooh. the Yagi antenna, of course. And the uh, Alpha AW US0368? Yes, the, My favorite I almost radio. picked up the pogo plug. No. No, you can't get that in the hack shop. Where did the Alpha go? Oh. Yeah. But you, you can't get the awesome purse organizer that I use for all of my development kits. Cause Darren has that's, a purse organizer. That's just, you can get that over at Totes, which sounds like it would be a company in Oakland, but I don't think it is. That's for Totes. Yeah. It's for my, it's for my hack bag. His Merce. It's hack bag. It's your hack bag. like nurse. a hack bandolier is what I want. Whatever. Dude, all that right. would be so You can also find our hack bandolier. tips on Fridays over at hak5.org. And you can follow us on Twitter, Google Plus, yep. Facebook. Get all the up-to-date news and Hack5 happenings. Yeah, and then you can tune in every week so that you can hear us say, I'm Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. Remember to trust your Technolost. I'm gonna go eat some leftover turkey. I'm gonna drink the rest of this bourbon. After the clip. I'm gonna get my hair cut when I go home. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh, perfect timing. Yeah. It's a guy on a buffalo. Guy on a buffalo. Hack five, not live to tape. One day the guy on a buffalo brought it in the woods. And it's all bear, oh fuck you bear. Don't need to worry about no bears. That looks disgusting. We're about to find out. And it smells even worse. It's lemon tea with bourbon. And it's organic. Mm. Okay. What are you doing, Darren? Just playing with the monkey. You know what time it is. It's time to check port 110. Mmm, port 10 and all yeah, the delicious. Yeah, should have. Uh, <laughs> sorry, let's try that again. Hello, welcome. Oh, shit. <laughs> We're in the C block. <laughs> Duck face. Do -do 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 -do. All right, this is all The company's trying to grow. We're along with it. It smells like medicine. Yes. Yes. Do you got to try this? It's so good. No. All right. <laughs> I'm such a hipster. And that's it. Done. And now every single second, it's going to say that SCPI isn't found because that was the wrong thing and I typed it wrong. So I'm just going to have to apt get SCPI and see what it is or we'll redo the segment correctly. Say, if you need to monitor your CPU temperature, you could. I'll be there. This time on Hack. All right. Yes. <laughs> you need some bourbon. Yeah, no, I just need some bourbon for this nibble.